I wish to start this video by saying in the, the context in which I am. Right now, NIA is interrogating me. They have done uh, 15 hours of interrogation and still they want me to go to Bombay with I am saying I will not go to Bombay for reasons that I will explain later. Now, a little background about my uh, being and active and in Jharkhand is in the context of uh, Jharkhand becoming a separate state. And um, so <clears throat> everybody wanted it as it, but then the issues were there. The issues were the especially displacement, land alienation because of mining, factories, townships, uh, dams, and people were not taken into confidence. Uh, hardly, uh, only minimal compensation was being paid to them. Mm. So we took it as a challenge and say how young people can take this as a as a life issue and fight it out. So in this process, some very helpful rulings or uh, laws were passed by the, by the Indian Parliament. And particularly one PESA Act, PESA Act, which gives significant power to the Gram Sabha, and whatever happens in the village, for it to be consulted and to be to get its consent. The other is the Land Acquisition Act, which for the first time recognizes the need to get the consent of the people, of the, of the landowners, and a fair compensation to them. So this kind of opened the way for us and people started to claim their rights. But as they claimed, they were just being thrown into jail. So in 2017, I gave a call to whoever I knew, not only in Jharkhand, but in all the central tribal states of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha and Bengal. So we came together, we have formed a body called Persecuted Prisoner Solidarity Committee and through that we had planned to take up to first to do a study of the nature of under trial prisoners in all these states and then to have recourse to legal action so that justice can be done. In this process I have filed a case against the Jharkhand State in Jharkhand High Court on behalf of about 3,000 young Adivasis who are languishing in the jail. It is this which became a bone of contention with the state and they wanted to put me out of the way and one easy way was to implicate me in some serious cases. And this case, it so happened, the Bhima Koregao, a place that I have never been to in all my life. I was implicated there, I was raided twice. First it was done by Pune police, then it was forcibly taken over by NIA. They have done uh, interrogation of me for about uh, 15 hours in the month of July. I was interrogated for 15 hours during a span of five days. Apart from my bio data and uh, mm, and some factual information about Pagaita, about Patalgari issue, about Bhima Korekaon movement, etc. For which whatever they asked, I provided. And some persons whom uh, I had come across in, in this process. They started to put before me certain extracts, um, supposedly taken from my computer. Extracts which were, you know, Maoists were communicating with each other. And in some extracts, even my name was mentioned. So they said, oh, where did he be? My first question was, who is the person writing? To whom was it written? On which date it is written? Is there a signature to what is written? 
none of it was there. So I, I just denied and disowned every single egg tract that was put before me, except the one huh, where Sudha Bharatwaj and myself, we were the co-conveners of this PPSC. We had issued a call to all human rights organizations all over the country, ex explaining what PPSC is about and requesting them, pleading them to come join hands so that it's a common effort. So these uh, extracts were all interpolations uh, uh, put into my computer. So I took that stance uh, very clearly. And finally, now they are even asking me to go to Bombay for further interrogation, which I am refusing to go because my age, I have certain ailments. There is the, the epidemic which is ravaging the country. And the Japan government itself has given directions that elderly people may not uh, travel or appear in public. Even these, I don't want to risk myself. And on the other hand, I'm ready for further interrogation if the if NIA would want it but through video conference. This is something that I am communicating to them. And let us hope that some human sense will prevail. And if it does not, I am ready. And I hope all of us, all those who know me and who are concerned about me, will also be ready to face what is to be faced. I just want to find the end by saying, what is happening to me is not something unique happening to me alone. It's a broader uh, process that is taking place all over the country. We are all aware how prominent intellectuals, lawyers, writers, poets, activists, student leaders, they are all put into jail just because they have expressed their dissent or raised questions about the ruling powers of the India. So, we are part of the process. As such, I am, I am, in a way, I am happy to be part, part of this process because I am I'm not a silent spectator, but I am part of it, part of the game, and ready to pay the price, whatever be it. Thank you for your attention.